hey guys welcome back to my channel i know it's been a minute but i'm not even going to get into that it's been a while i'm just glad to be back so today i am going to do a look with the nude what's this the nude ambition palette from morphe um so let's open it up this is what the palette looks like it looks like this it's very pretty on the inside um i think it i think it goes for about 20 bucks and i'm gonna do a couple of just like those shimmers they look more metallic than shimmery um so that was like my main concern but um i did play with this palette one time prior and even though they aren't uh, shimmery, shimmery, like, um, I don't know, maybe like a Clarity Cosmetics or Odin's Eye, it still has a lot of sparkle to it. So I was still very satisfied with the sparkles itself. Um, let me, let's see here. I'm just trying to think how I'm going to do this. Okay, so these are can you guys see that these are the swatches that i got from them i don't know if y'all can see this it's not a really good swatch you know what i gotta do better <laughs> got to do better with my swatches um but they are very pretty nonetheless None, nonetheless but they are very pretty i really like them let's just get into it i'm going outside today i want to do something that is nude um, I wanted to do the video today because today is my mommy's birthday. She's not here. It is also October. Um, and conveniently or uh, coincidentally, I should say, my mom passed away from cancer, which is also October, the month of cancer awareness. So I figured that I've been wanting to get back into my videos and what better day to do so on my mom's birthday instead of being sad just do something that makes me happy which is my videos so um let's get into it and i'm gonna i'm trying to figure out what what uh color i'm going to start with here um i'm just using my little amazon brushes i bought these from amazon the double heads i think it was like 30 40 in a pack for maybe like ten dollars fifteen dollars or something like that i really do like them um i really do actually also i don't you know what let's just let's just get into um this this um i lost my train of thought also really quickly before we get into this um this tutorial my face is very red now i'm using my um normal fenty shade that i always use what i'm thinking though is that the bottle is probably maybe old or expired i don't know how often that does that but it's, it's just more red than usual i don't know if it's just me i just have like a freshly washed hair head of hair right now so i just kind of like got it covered but my face is so red. I'm hoping that it oxidizes. If not, if it doesn't oxidize and like gets a little darker, um, I'm going to put my powder on top of it, which I'm hoping that will save it. Um, I'm going to either have to buy a new foundation or um, a new foundation altogether or just a new bottle. Um, of that particular shade, but I think that once I'm done with this shade, I think I'm once I'm done with this bottle, I think I'm gonna be done with the shade altogether because it is more red than me. I'm more like neutral toned than anything, and it's very, very red. Um, but I've been able to get away with it, especially on like the winter days where you can't see like my neck and my chest. Um, and also I use like my powders, which they, it darkens up the foundation. So it doesn't look as red. It usually oxidizes though, but it has not oxidized yet. I've had it on for a little while, which is why I look a little weird because I'm only wearing foundation. Um, but I am hoping that it oxidizes before I head out for the day. 
and um, I'm not looking so, so, so red. But if I do, this is my Sephora Micro Smooth uh, Baking Face Powder. Baby, let me tell y'all. If y'all don't do nothing else with y'all life, get y'all some of this powder. Because this powder has saved my life. I use the color Espresso 80, 85 Espresso. Baby. It is everything. It brings out the chocolate in my chocolate, okay? So I'm really hoping this, this foundation is whew, my save or be all. I mean, this um powder, this baking powder is my save or be all. So I'm hoping that it will save the day like it always does and make me more brown again. Okay. So with that being said, let's get on into this this um video i'm gonna start off with um i'm not sure i'm gonna start off with this color right here called raw raw talent i like this color it's kind of mauvey this matte color i'm gonna put this in my crease first to start it off with now you know one thing is that i need to get a actual mirror about all this makeup and even these makeup collections that come with mirrors and I never buy the mirror. So I'm going to use this mirror that I got here. And I'm just going to, this is just like one of my palettes from Alter Ego that I'm using um, for mirror wise. And I'm going to just kind of put that in my crease. I don't know guys, I'm not loving this right now. I think I'm not loving it, not the actual <laughs> palette but more so the uh foundation look that i got going on i'm really hoping i could save my my face for the day i'm not doing anything important thank god because if i was i would be a very unhappy little chocolate woman okay so yeah i'm just gonna bring it up as much as i can without it looking too 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 much and I'm going to do the other side. I'm putting it in my crease first. And then I'm bringing it up slowly because I am going to darken that crease. But I want it to have like that blended, smooth look. In my opinion, and I know sometimes people put the dark color in first. And my opinion is like, I like to put the lighter color first. Because I always feel like it's easier to blend from lightest to darkest, rather darkest to lightest. Because if you put too much, too much of the darker color, if you're not a pro, it's hard for you to blend that dark color out. Um, but when you have like just a light color, it's so much easier to make that lighter color just darker rather than make that darker color lighter. I hope that makes sense what I'm saying because... In my head, it makes sense, but I, I think I'm saying it right. But then somebody might be like, what the hell are you talking about, me? Okay. <laughs> All right. So then I'm going to go into this color right here, the Naked Eye, which is just darker brown. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to, I'm trying to decide. Okay, yeah, I'm going to dip into that one. I'm going to use the same brush too, because it's both brown. So, I mean, yeah, I'm going to use the same brush. I'm not even going to clean it off. And um, going to the naked eye. This is this. Oh wow! This palette, though, I have to tell you, very pigment, very pigmented, pigment, very pigmented. <laughs> the color is oh, it's giving. Go ahead, Morphe. Now you know some people ain't want want been wanting to mess with Morphe because you know they've been pulling some stuff on people lately. Um, you know, with the closing they. I believe they close in their stores around the country. And I, I don't know if it's the country, the world, whatever. And they randomly have been firing people. Or close, yeah, they've been firing people, like closing the store. And people not knowing, you know, not knowing to the day that they come into work. That has been a thing that was going on for a while. I don't know if that's still happening. Um, probably not, to be honest with you guys, because... They probably already done and finished with it. But, yeah. Not cool, Morphe. Not cool. Um, even, my, like, 
yeah i don't know the foundation must not be good because even here like i'm feeling like my face is patchy my face looks patchy i don't know so, and i use this foundation all the time the same shade the same color and it is just not the foundation is not foundationing right now and i'm a little disappointed but um but still not because i do realize the bottle i've had it a long time the bottle is old like i'm at the very end of it and you know how long it takes for you to get to the bottom of a bottle and that's my fenty 460 that's the color i use okay so now what i want to do is um i actually I need to get another brush. I'm actually going to go back into this raw, raw talent right here because I know this color is like completely gone. So I just want to soften it up again. Like in here. Soften that just a little bit. Like buff out any harsh, anything that's kind of harsh there. I don't know. You know, today, I feel like I'm not happy with this makeup. I don't like the way I did the brows. And um, sometimes, sometimes, as much, you could do your makeup a million times and you can still have a day and you're like, I don't, I don't like this. Okay, anyway. <laughs> I don't want to use... I think this color, which is silver streaking and nudes flash. That's what I use. I'm going to start off with nudes flash on the outer part and put this silver streaking on the inner part. So I'm going to, dang, I think I'm going to use my fingers. I do not like using my fingers like to put my eyeshadow on because I like precision. And because my fingers are so chunky, I always feel like it messes up every time. It's like it doesn't give me like that precision that I'm I'm looking for. But I'm going to just go ahead and put it up there and see what I get. Which is this is very pretty. This is pretty. Like I said, I have used the palette one time before, so this is not my first time playing in the palette. And I did love the look that I made with it the first time around. I think it's a very pretty palette and good quality for it to be so inexpensive because makeup is so expensive these days. And I think this palette was only 20 bucks or something like that. Look at that. That's pretty. So pretty. I'm going to go in with this silver streak. And this color is really pretty. It's like a... I don't know what I would call it. I guess a champagne-y color. But not like a gold champagne. More like a rose champagne. So, yeah. Let me see if y'all can see that. So pretty. So pretty oh look at that oh and it has like this really good sparkle to it it does it has like a really good sparkle oh look at that y'all see that sparkle so i'm putting it just on the i'm going from the inner to the middle of the lid because like I, that's where I want the two to meet. Um, uh, making sure that I pat it too, rather than glide it, because I want to be sure that I'm getting like that good sparkle from it. Oh, this is really pretty, guys. Oh. This is pretty. Now, I'm going to say this because they don't look as shimmery in the pan. 
as they do on the actual eye. They they are actually really sparkly on the eyes. But in the pan, they don't give, I don't know. Okay, let me, let me move it and see if there's like a shift or a sparkle there. Because they look more metallic when you look at them. They look like they're more like a foiled metallic color rather than um, shimmery. They, they don't give shimmer in the pan. I'm sorry, but they don't. Um, but they definitely give shimmer on the eye. This is really pretty. Wow. Okay. I'm going to get one more color because I kind of want to like marry the two. I'm, I'm going to take this one right here. Gold. Am I going to get that one? I'm going to take gold digger. I kind of want to place that on the middle to just, I don't know, marry them, let them meet in between. Give it like that light to medium to dark. Hopefully I will get that effect. I'm not sure, but let's, let's give it a go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, I really like that. I'm just only putting it in the middle of my lid. Oh, gold digger. Come on now, Morphe. For 20 bucks? <laughs> Baby, you can't beat that. 20 bucks? Yeah, because this was an, an expensive palette. I buy a lot of makeup, and I'm going to tell you, makeup is expensive. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is so pretty. Okay, let me get a different brush here. And I'm going to just work on bringing those in together and giving them that shape. Because I, I have hooded lids. So because I have hooded lids, a lot of times, like, I have to go above the crease in order for you to see it. But then the problem is, is like I said, I really like that precision look when it comes to, like, my, sh my glitters and stuff. A lot of the times, they will, like go over um, the crease because when I open my eyes like this, the edge of my leg goes over that crease and then I wind up getting glitter like all on, on top of it. So I try to make sure I do like that whole real, um, just really pat it along, not just, not just in the crease, but a little bit above the crease for me, just because I have the hooded legs. See right here, you can see right here, it went above on its own. That's because, that's because my eyelids. This is really pretty. I'm not mad at this at all, like seriously. Like not at all. All right, and I'm just going to take a minute and deepen up my crease one more time. Just because, like, I don't want to lose that deepness. And it's just, like, a little glitter. I was like, the glitter is getting away from me here. And so I don't want that to happen. Oh, what do y'all think? I really love this. It has a pretty shine to it that I wasn't expecting. I'm saying, but when I first bought it. Because I, 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 I noticed it the first time I used it. It has a very pretty shine to it that I really, really wasn't expecting. Oh. Um, there is a little bit of fallout. There's a little bit of fallout. I'm going to finish getting myself together and ready for the day. And then I'm going to come back and pick out a lip and give y'all my thoughts on this palette. Cause okay, guys, I'm back. <laughs> I have fixed my hair. I have put on some lashes. Uh, what else did I do? I did line my lip a little bit with um, some MAC Current. I'm going to line my lip. It's the fall season. And I kind of want to go a little dark. A little vampy. Y'all know what? <laughs> I feel like I was all over the place with this tutorial. I'm not going to hold y'all. Um, 
it's been a while since I filmed. Like, I got to get back into the, the nick of things. Um, but let's choose a lip together. Um, I want it to be dark, but not too dark. I'm really loving my eyes. I hope you guys like it too. Let's let's try this um, food cake. This NYX NYX butter gloss food cake. I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna love this, but I'm gonna give it a go. I want it to be dark and vampy, sort of, but not too dark and vampy, if that makes sense. Because I have some that are, some lips that's darker than this, like I do. So I line my lips with Courant from MAC, and this is food cake, right? <laughs> Oh, Devil's Food Cake. Okay. This is Devil's Food Cake. NYX Butter Gloss. All right. And this is my look for the day. This is my look. I hope that you guys like it. Um, so let's talk about the palette because that is like the star of the show. I really did love the palette. I'm happy that I got it. It's just... um. I really just wanted something that was going to be like neutral. Um, and I really do love it. So I'm glad I got it. I think it's a good neutral palette. It's not too flashy, but still pretty enough to go out. Um, it can definitely turn it from like a day to night palette. I really like palettes that's like that. Um, for the price, I feel like you get good quality. And that's a big thing, quality, okay? Um, Mor Morphe always kind of had decent quality. The palette is beautiful. I'm happy I got it. I feel like I got it for a good price. Um, and for the price, it is good quality. And so I feel like Morphe did that. Morphe did that for 20 bucks. Morphe did that, okay? I'm happy that I got it. If you get a chance, pick it up, okay? And, um... I will see you guys next go round.